Testing a double low gauge uh, model locomotive with a 9 volt battery. Um, so if you put your loco on the track and you turn the power up on the dial and the loco doesn't move, um, the control the issue could be with the controller or it could be with the locomotive. And if you want to test one, this is an easy way to see if a locomotive is working. Um, similarly, if you have a locomotive on DCC um, and it's running quite badly, um, what you can do is you can pull the decoder out um, and you can perform this test and see if I mean if the loco runs flawlessly on this test then the issue is something to do with the decoder so to grab the battery test goes fine it's spared no expense um, I get my sentinel shunter and hold it upside down or for this purpose I'm just going to put it upside down in its packaging so as I cross one set of pickup wheels doesn't matter what this only this one got two sets of pickup wheels um, if you've got sort of a tender drive steam loco or a tender pickup steam loco, um, if you touch it to the tender wheels, the loco wheels should turn, provided it was working. If I touch it across the two, you'll see, there we go. Perfect. You don't want to do it too hard, obviously you'll stop the uh, wheels turning, but 9 volt is sufficient power to run um, the wheels of a loco, even though they're designed for 12. Um, you can see they're spinning uh, in that direction if I turn the battery the other way around, so effectively change the polarity of the two um, terminals, the wheels are moving the other direction. So they're moving sort of to the left, the rod's moving to the left, to the other way, moving to the right. So this, this loco runs fine, um, as is true for um, when it's on uh, the track under its own power. If I turn around, grab this from behind me. This doesn't work quite as smoothly. Um, you can hear the noise of that one, although it's picking up rather well, um, just sort of being a bit clunky. So obviously what you want is something a bit closer to this. Um, and, and that's how you test the loco with a 9 volt battery.